We headed out Highway 50. Memories live in these pages for 90-year-old Evelyn McBain. <laughs> I guess I'll tickle. Images of family trips, growing grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Images fading into darkness. Something was wrong, but I didn't know what. Evelyn suffers from age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. It's the leading cause of blindness in the Western world. Basically, the small area in her retina, the macula, is breaking down. It's the area that helps us see fine details. I can't read anything, to be right truthful. Oh, no, I can't write a check. I got to the point where I was falling all the time. I can't even see the end of the needle. Macular degeneration is caused when cells in your eye die. Now, these pegs are like cells, and every time a cell dies, well, you lose a peg. For a while, you can still make out the picture. Ultimately, lose enough cells or pegs, and you lose the picture. I would argue that loss of vision is probably one of the most scary, you know, ailments known to mankind. My 88-year-old grandmother Charlotte has AMD. I've watched her vision deteriorate and wondered if one day I'll get it too. If you're genetically prone to get it, you're probably going to get it eventually. But then comes some hope from the University of Iowa. Researcher Bud Tucker came here two years ago from Harvard. He says UI has the world's largest stem cell collection, DNA collection, and eye bank. The ability to do that is highly, highly dependent upon this collaborative environment because I need a clinician who's seeing patients with rare inherited eye diseases. Tucker's team is using a new method, taking a patient's skin cells and turning them into replacement cells for the eye. It takes months to grow these cells, and the hope is that because they come from the patient's own body, they're less likely to be rejected once transplanted. UI has helped develop medications to control AMD and that sometimes even improves someone's vision. But most importantly, they've helped find ways to help prevent AMD. Things like not smoking, uh, getting exercise, healthy diets. Including brightly colored fruits and vegetables. If you stick to the colors, you're likely to get the nutrients that are going to be helpful. And for those with AMD, there are still ways to see the world. Probably, uh... You can have somebody who hasn't been able to read for months or years, and now all of a sudden they can read. There are video magnifiers. White on black and then different color selects. Smaller magnifiers and reading telescopes. Makes it look like the lens is like right here. <laughs> Some devices read. $41,000 over the next year. And iPhones I know will even identify money. $10. Ultimately, the goal is that UI researchers will one day make the devices unnecessary. I think we will in the next couple of decades probably be able to identify and prevent it. Now that won't help Evelyn or my grandmother but it could help Evelyn's grandchildren or me. I think, thank God, there is something they can, they can do. For now, Evelyn's reflections of a life well-lived can still play vividly in her mind. Covering the corridor in Iowa City, Sadie Hughes, Fox 28 News.